Argosy University officially closed its doors today. Employees told me they're trying their best to help students transition into other programs, but yesterday I sat down with students who tell me they don't think it will be that easy. Staff at another school, North Central University, saw our story and told me it might actually be that easy. I saw some of the interviews, students losing two or three years of, of their program. And what North Central University wants to do is to be able to step up not have students lose those credits and just pick up where they left off from Argosy and continue on. Some rule bending means students could transfer all credits to NCU without losing them. Across the country at the master's and doctoral level, their transfer of credit requirements are usually anywhere from six to 15 credits is the most that they'll accept. We've been working closely with our president of uh, North Central University to help figure out a path where we can have exceptions for these students and accept more credits than you would typically see from an institution. However, NCU only offers online classes, but for students just a few classes from graduation, it's a quick fix. Accepting all of their credits as long as they have a C or better and they map into one of our current master's or doctoral programs. So that's going to really take a lot of the stress out from the student. NCU tells me it's had between 200 and 250 students calling them asking how this would work. Senator Kirsten Cinema is asking the Department of Education to step in to help students affected by the school's mismanagement of money. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's family.